For this example of multi-beam imaging sonar, we're taking a look at a Deep Trekker Revolution ROV piloting just above the seafloor with a corrugated retaining wall on our left. As you can see here, our camera view is quite useless due to all the particulate matter around, so what we need to do is rely on our sonar. As the pilot brings the sonar up into full screen, we essentially get a bird's eye topographic view of the seafloor. We can see this displayed on those bright edges there on our sonar view. That is the acoustic waves bouncing off of those front edges of the little sand dunes on the seafloor and creating the resulting shadows behind them. And if you look to the left of the sonar view, we can see one straight line that kind of sticks out. That is our corrugated retaining wall. The way I like to think of this concept is picture the ROV as a scuba diver with a very bright flashlight that is scraping across the seafloor. Now picture a snorkeler snorkeling across the surface looking down. That snorkeler would be seeing the bright edges be illuminated from that scuba diver's flashlight along with all of those resulting shadows. That is the same idea that we are seeing there on our sonar view.